Earlier on in this course, I think it was back in section four, I introduced you to working with styles that are built into Word. Things like the heading styles. Now I want to take it a step further, get a little more advanced with styles, and really see more capability come from them. When I introduced you to styles, it was about formatting. You got consistent formatting that you could reuse through your document. For example, using the heading style, if I look at my home tab, you got your style section here, and I got one called heading one. I can use that style to go through and format all my headings, paragraph headings, section headings, whatever it might be, but I remain consistent because I'm using that predetermined formatting, that pre predetermined style throughout my document. Makes it really nice and consistent. But there's so much more involved in, in styles, and I want to show off a couple of the features here. But first, we got to get the, the document formatted using these styles. So let's revisit that. So first off, I've got this three-page document. You can see down there about at the bottom, I got page one of three. This is the example file that comes with this lecture. You can download it right off this video. It's number 14, Heading Styles. Make sure you download that. Now, throughout these three pages, I've got various headers using the Insert tab, Picture Formatting, Power of Videos, and so on. Uh, and one more header and another subheader. I got lazy there at the end. But uh, I want to go through and I want to format those. I want them to look like headings. So I'm going to select Fun with Videos, and that's going to be a main heading. Inserting videos, that's going to be a subheading, so I'm going to ignore that. Fun with Pictures, that'll be another main header. I'm just holding down my control key and clicking in the margin here. I'm going to keep going. Uh, another subheader. Uh, picture formatting. Let's see, what was the one before that? Fun with Pictures. Those will be both be subheadings. Power of Videos, another control click. Uh, and another header, another control click. So those will all be my main headers throughout my document. So now I'm going to go up to my Home tab. I'm going to go over to my styles and I'm going to format them using heading one. Boom. There we go. So now throughout my document, all of those headers that I had selected are now nice and pretty, nice and formatted, and they're consistent. Now let's go through and let's grab the subheaders. Inserting videos, using the insert tab, picture formatting. Uh, let's see, I think I had one more here and another subheader. Now this time, these are subheaders, like subtopics under these main headers, so I'm going to make this a heading two. They look very similar, they're a little bit smaller in font size, uh, but now I've got subheaders throughout my document. Main headers and subheaders underneath some of those main headers. All right, cool. So now I've formatted my document and I've made it consistent. Okay, Three pages, 20 pages, 100 page document, really quick, really efficient. Now, it's not just about formatting. I want to show you in the next couple of videos what else you can do with these headers. But first, get this set up. So download the number 14 heading styles document. Go through and format the main areas as heading one, and then the subheaders as heading two, just like I did there. And then jump into the next video. We're going to take a look at the outline feature.